Amen. We thank God today for this opportunity that I can minister and just speak into somebody's heart and somebody's life, somebody's marriage, somebody's ministry, somebody's business, and just to encourage you for 2022. Now, 2022 is not 2021. Amen. So God want to bless you in this year. God want to establish you in this year. God want to prosper you in this year. But prosperity and blessings are not locked up in finances. It's locked up in what God's intentions are for your life and for your ministry and for your family. So the Bible says that Nehemiah, when God spoke to Nehemiah and God used somebody, Hanani, just to open up the understanding and the vision of Nehemiah according to his heart, the Lord prospered him, the Lord blessed him, and the Lord took Nehemiah into his assignment. Now, what I want to encourage you today, uh, those that are listening and those that are tuned into what I'm saying, is I'm in, um, encouraging also our ministry for 2022. And our ministry knows that 2022 is not 2021. So whether you end 2021 in a low note, God's going to bless you in 2022 because you're going to declare with me, you're going to prophesy with me, you're going to decree with me over your own life, your own ministry, your own family, and your own situation. Amen. Now the Bible says that when Nehemiah was taken to where God has placed his assignment, he called Nehemiah to put himself in a position of placing himself on top of the rules of the building. Now the walls were destructed, the doors were gone, the walls were gone, no protection was there, but God was able. Now this year for our ministry, we have this area where we declare that 2022 will be a year number one and our first declaration, we will get ourselves ready, we will prepare ourselves. In order for God to bless you, in order for God to do something new for your life, you have to put your mind in order for God to bless you. But there must be a preparation. There must be an area where you say, Lord, I'm preparing myself psychologically. Lord, I'm preparing myself emotionally. Lord, I'm preparing myself physically and socially and family life orientated. I'm preparing myself, Lord, for this new thing that you're going to do, this blessing for 2022. Now, that's declaration number one. Declaration number two, you must be able to apply. Application is important. So now God wants to bless you. God wants to do something new for your life, but you have to apply what God has in store for your life. Amen. So you must apply. So whatever God is instructing you to do, whether going left, whether going right, whether sitting down, whether getting up, whether going in, whether coming out, whether you must bless, whether you must walk away, step away, cut away, whatever you do, God wants to bless you. Now, there's another thing that I know God is doing powerful, and the area is when God wants to bless you. Whenever God blesses you, you must know that you have two things in your hand. As somebody in our ministry so rightfully blessed us with a word, and when she said that God will give you bread in the one hand, and God will give you seed in the other hand, you must choose wisely. Are you going to eat the bread and the seed, or are you going to eat the seed and think that if you give the bread, then the bread will sustain you. But God wants you to be wise, eating the bread but planting the seed. And many times we can't prosper, we can't go to another level in our lives, we can't move forward in our marriages, our ministry, because we are selfish sometimes, we don't want to share, and God wants to bring us to a place where we have to share. We have to uh, give ourselves and cut ourselves away from where we say, Lord, I'm going to walk away, step away, that you can bless me. Now, uh, 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 the declaration number three that I'm taking our ministry in, that God's going to manifest himself in 2022. But I also want to prophesy those that are stepping into this by faith, there's going to be an acceleration of the manifestation of God. God's going to bless you beyond your understanding. God's going to bless you before you even know it. Now, now the Bible says that when God blessed Zion, Zion thought that they were dreaming and they were waking up from a dream, but it was not a dream. When God's about to bless you, you're going to think that you are dreaming, but it's God's acceleration of his blessings, manifestation of what God's going to do in your life. So I want to encourage somebody in this day that you take courage in the Lord, that the Lord can bless you and that the Lord can sustain you. May this word, the sword word, encourages you, 
Take up whatever God is calling you to take up. Pick up whatever God is calling you to pick up. Heal wherever God wants you to heal. Step away wherever God wants you to step away. Whether it's in family, whether it's in friendship, whether it's in ministry, you have to walk away and start over God. When God calls you, start over, get strength within you and make your heart strong on the basis of the word of God. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. Blessings upon you. Amen.